What's your favorite food? <laughs> tortellini. How would you like to die? Eating too much tortellini. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Movie Vault, I'm Claire Bueno. Well, Drew Barrymore and Justin Long certainly have gone the distance all the way over to Leicester Square, London for the world premiere of their new film, Going the Distance. What's the meanest lie you ever told someone to get them out first thing in the morning? I had to meet my wife for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little wing sauce. Like, Where? Kind of in this general area. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello, how are you? Welcome. You must have been hanging out with this, right? I know. Oh, my God. It's freezing. How are you all doing? Very well. Oh, yeah. I'm not cold, but I'm OK. <laughs> well, tell us about making this film. How much fun must it have been? Uh, loads of fun. Yeah, loads of fun. Very different from our regular regular life, yeah. No, we did it a year ago, so it does feel yeah. like a whole... A whole we only did two days' time. worth, so we're only on the set for two days. Yeah, but, but it's, a, it's a different experience, isn't it, being on a film set to shoot in videos? What, what was it like? Uh, well, for us, it was interesting seeing how that how they shoot film rather than how we know we shoot videos. Yeah. Uh, and actually, playing was just it was just quite funny, quite a lot of fun. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, having said that, we had a lot of input. Um, and New Line were really good about that. We had a lot of input as to how we were um, going to be portrayed in the film and the look, and you know, making it look real on stage and all that sort of thing. And I think the end result is what you see is what you get, pretty much. Maybe it'll be fun if I DJ'd your hookup. What was our rule? Just because I can hear you through the wall doesn't mean I get to participate. Right. You all right this evening? Yeah, you know. Uh. <laughs> first time on Leicester Square? First time. First time ever in Leicester Square. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what was it like? You've got some really fun scenes with Oh, friends. thank you. Yeah, she's incredible. She, it was such an amazing experience to, you know, be able to work with, you know, Nanette, who I'd loved before and Drew, who I'd loved since I was about six or something. I was going to say, there's a lot that you can learn from your craft by acting with somebody like Absolutely. Drew. And that's, and that's, sorry, the thing that she, I mean, the first thing she told me was, I have, we were in a trailer, and she said, I haven't stopped this since I was six. I have always lived in a trailer. And I thought that's so incredible. She's just done so, so much. And when you look at everything she's done and how she's kind of, she's just flourished. And I think that, you know, the work that she did on, like, Grey Gardens was astounding. That was absolutely astounding. incredible. Astounding, astounding work. And she's just, I think that she's just, she's just one of the nicest, warmest people I've ever met. I mean, what's really lovely about this film is that, that it is a very warm, very natural there. That, that just that the, the whole characters actually have got lots of depth to them, haven't they? Yeah, and I think Jeff is an incredible, incredible writer. He, uh, and he's written about something that's actually quite a serious subject and that can be really quite hard at times. And he's turned it into something that's incredibly amusing, but still very, very real. And I well, think that's that's what I suppose that's, there's a lot of humour in things that happen in real life. Exactly, exactly. People can relate to that. Yeah, comedy. completely, completely. And this comedy really is very much not, it's not a chick flick. It's, it's, it's no, it's, it's, a, it's a romantic comedy with balls. That's what it is. I'm leaving in six weeks. We're saying keep it light. Disease free and light. Six weeks too fast. <laughs> Me like you. Welcome to Leicester Square. Oh my god, it's an honor and a privilege. Well, you must be very proud of what you've created with this film. I am. I'm extremely proud, excited, and nervous for its release all at the same time. How does um, being a documentary filmmaker prepare you to make in a feature? Well, for the kind of features that I made, I, I, you know, it allows you to bring that sincerity and reality that documentaries have and put it into a more constructed fiction film. It really does feel there's a rawness about this film, isn't there, and a reality. I mean, the, the characters have got great depth and sense of humour, and I think yeah. when you're meeting a, a, a couple, the important thing is to be able to laugh with one another, and that really comes across that these people really do enjoy each other's company. They do. They have an amazing chemistry together, and not only the two leads, Drew and Justin, but the supporting cast as well. Yeah, they've all really got personalities, haven't they? They're not just there to support. They are yeah. characters in their own right, and you've brought that out. So the supporting cast is hilarious in this movie. Christina Applegate as Drew's sister and uh, Jason Sudeikis and Charlie Day who are uh, lesser known certainly in Europe but are incredibly talented comic 
actors. You, you also encouraged, I believe, a lot of improvisation within the film. How does that, how did you have to collaborate then with your scriptwriter and say, look, I don't want to do a disjustice to the script? No, he was happy to have that done. I mean, we rewrote the script over and over to make it as perfect as possible. And we would shoot the script, but then we would also shoot improvised takes of every scene. So the end result, half the movie stole the script, and half the movie is what we made up on set. But you know, I had such a brilliant comic cast that they made the movie so much funnier than what was on the page by just their own wit and creations. Aaron, I'll be here and you'll be there and we'll be long distance because I'm crazy about you. I'm crazy about you too. You want a hug? Okay. Come on, buddy. There you go. Why are your eyes closed? Are yours not closed? No. Drew, what was it like acting for a first-time director? Was that quite refreshing for you? Well, Nanette's an amazing documentarian, so I just, you know, I, I trusted her, and I thought she moved the camera beautifully, and she had a really natural quality about everything, but still made it feel like a polished film. We did a lot of improvising, and uh, you just don't always get to do that at work, and so I really loved working with her. I miss you already. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. You need to be clear about what this relationship is. Can you see other people? I mean, he could be out there dry humping half of New York City right now. Oh, that's scandalous. Dry humping is no joke. Justin, this is very much a film for men as well, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm normally not really into movies like this, and I, I enjoyed it uh, as a guy, as a dude. I like to think I represent somewhat the gender. Um, maybe not the best representative or the most masculine, but uh, but yeah, I, I mean all this stuff with Charlie Day and Jason, and even even for a guy to to, to, to see um, Christina and Drew scenes, like you, you get a little window into the into how the other half lives um, in, in a very crude and raw but authentic way. So I, I don't think it's a chick flick at all. Phone sex and um, lots of it. Well, I'm on top. I'm on top. How can you be on top? Didn't they say we were in your car? No, we're on a plane. This isn't really working. I like people do cars too much. Wowie, what an evening we've had here on Movie Vault. We got to speak to the director, Nanette Burstein, and the stars, Drew Barrymore and Justin Long. It's been 100% success here tonight. We'll tune in next time for all the latest movie news and reviews. Claire Bueno signing out for MovieVault.com. Oh, Phil! That came in so fast I didn't know where to go. Oh. These mashed potatoes are amazing.